nothing much to do when you're out here alone. But listen to the radio to daylight break. Good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is good morning. We have just woken up and uh, done a little bit of our pre-trip and all that good stuff. So now we are just about ready to roll out of here. So are you guys ready for coming around? along and right along with the trucker Rudy show this morning well if you are let's get this show on the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day guys what do you think good idea or what welcome to Chicago traffic in the morning ladies and gentlemen yes indeed we have just entered into Illinois and here we are in morning rush hour traffic Yes, indeed, and we try and make the best of it. <laughs> I mean, it don't don't get you anywhere getting stressed out and frustrated and all that stuff. It don't work in this trucking industry. You can't do that. When you are a professional truck driver, you relax and sit back. And, hey, take her easy. You'll get through here. No point in pushing your way up on the bumper of somebody's truck or car or whatever and try and cut people off and try and just go, 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 you know. That don't work so good out here when it's rush hour traffic. You're just going to get yourself into an accident if you do that. But yeah, we're just uh, yeah, only about an hour away from my delivery place. and. You know, I'm a little early, so I don't really have to be there that early, but I figured, you know what, I'll just get there a little early in the hopes I can deliver early, right? Right? So, so yeah, that's the way it is, but. Anyways, so we're sitting in a traffic jam. Welcome to Chicago, like I said. This is what you can expect in the morning and in the evening, every single day when you're going through Chicago. Ooh, yeah, sometimes even worse than what we're having it right now, so. You never know. I have just finished doing all my delivery. And I have also finished picking up my preload. Or not preload, but my load. Yes, indeed I have. And look at this. It's like quarter of a mile down the road. There's the Interstate I-88. So I can go down here and hit the Interstate like instantly after I picked up my load and then I can be on my way yes indeed proceed to the highlight that makes down. me happy construction ahead yep now we're hammer down going home sweet home ladies and gentlemen that makes me extremely Total happy ahead. construction ahead we got 850 miles to go. Mile. Keep to the left on I-88. And we got only 12.30 in the afternoon yet. So we can hammer down and go home. Looks like a smoky bear has got himself a capture over here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Try and move her over here a little bit so cop has room and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's looking a little bit cloudy, but uh, not gonna complain about clouds, are we? Not whatsoever, not a little bit. Yeah, we're probably gonna try and get to Black River Falls, Wisconsin today. I think I can do it. It's three hours from South Beloit. Two miles keep to the left on I-88. And I'm probably about, give or take an hour, maybe an hour and a half from, from South Beloit. So, uh, looks like Continue I might. Continue road for 32 miles just be able to make it there I think because I got about four hours in the book right now 
and I had my full I think I had 11 and a half hours available today so you know I used up about 45 minutes of on duty time for loading and unloading and pre-trip and all that stuff so uh, so now we should be able to have at least 10 and 3 quarter hours available to drive and we did four hours of driving roughly already so uh, so that means probably about well maybe another six hours that I actually got coming to me so you know that might actually put me further than Black River Falls if you got probably about four four and a half hours up to Black River I might be able to make it up to Wilson Wisconsin I might have a have a look at it yeah that would actually be nice if I could do that that would mean I would only have about eight hours left for tomorrow or maybe nine hours for tomorrow worth of driving to do so yeah that would make me very happy I'd be home tomorrow night and then I think I'm gonna take me three days off not that I really want to but I had promised my buddy that uh, I'm going to be at his wedding. He's getting married. Now obviously this is seven days ago when I recorded this video. So it will have already happened after you watch this video. But, you know, I promised him I would be there and I'm going to keep my word. And so I'm going to stay home till Sunday. Yes, indeed I am. Put the hammer down. Let's get some miles in. I have just had me a very good night's sleep. Yes, indeed, I have. And now it is time to finish this vlog and uh, get on going again here for the next one, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't really have much interesting to film yesterday I guess but uh, for this vlog but uh, hey that's all right at least we got something in and uh, just before we stopped here in Wilson Wisconsin it started ice raining and a mixture of snow and ice and all that stuff and by the time we stopped here, it started snowing, and then uh, before you know it, everything is white out there. So, uh, so yeah, we got a white ground up there. It'll be kind of hard to see right now because it's all dark out there. So, I'll probably not be able to show you that right now. But, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Anyways, uh, we will get out of here, and we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out.